Hello friends, Arthur here and this is DSL Gold Part 2 review and we started with Rock Fuel by Metalted and this is a logical track where you need hit all the balls, gold balls, to open the gate for checkpoints and during showcase Metalted said that the last ball you need to put in a pot, in a hole, just without it the gate won't open. So. So don't bother for the first two balls and be very very careful with the third one because you can easily go in the same path, there is a fan which could suck you in. It's slightly challenging and very interesting idea, so yeah, fun. PD Golf Nightmare and it's very precise correct name for this track. It's very RNG because of all uh, flying balls, all the cats around the track. There are several ways how you can go. I, I believe the middle one that I choose is the fastest but more riskier. Second one is like where you go right. There's like um, half pipe it's slower but there's not a lot of like golfing ball laying around and you need to follow the signs follow the arrows and follow the numbers of gates because you basically do like a uh, lap on this field and then you go um, flying over the fence to the golf ball there's definitely the faster way how you can finish this track but i didn't find one so yeah 116 uh, pretty happy about my time but i spent one session just to avoid cats a lot of cats and just to remind cats are really hitting your uh, pc performance so please try to not put them on the track especially for zsl Fairway drive by McCheesy and this I could consider mostly like classical tray with golf decoration. Uh, it's some kind of in the mud, but it's done nice, it's feel nice. There's no any speed checks, any problematic lines. Uh, maybe there's several, maybe like shortcuts or alternative routes, but I didn't found them. But it's nice, it's cozy, it's themed and pretty enjoyable track. Sunrise Gold Pin by Bulugan75. Uh, this one is tricky. You have pretty wide circle, almost like 360 around the line, and you need to find the perfect way how to turn slightly after checkpoint to not hit the people, to not uh, hit the barriers. I found it way just slightly slow down, press break, and then use wall right to jump over to checkpoint 3. It saved a lot of time for me, like not using all this grassy road where you drift in a lot. Uh, and that's why I didn't use like barrier right after it, because there is a flag at the end, so it's easy to crash. But still, beat after time, so very, very doable track. Wall in one by North Wind, and this is first of its kind, uh, like flying golf track, and at least partially. It's very fast track. Uh, several narrow wall ride elements uh, put it in like medium difficult part of my scale, and jump to the checkpoint seven is one of the hardest probably. But there is two checkpoint like uh closer uh and if you miss it there's like safety checkpoint um i don't know um uh, how other judges will look at it basically have like risky one and another checkpoint but very interesting track 
Play time ago by Diabler, and I spent like full two session, uh, well, almost full. This is the last attempt on the second one, uh, just to make landing in the mouth of the dragon. I I don't know how. Uh, it was annoyingly hard with a lot of jumping Unity RNG. I was trying to break a lot, and uh, I was lucky like once for all of these attempts, so it's my second attempt, but I didn't have enough speed to make the first jump after checkpoint 2, so I was like very slow uh, because I was breaking. And after that, this track seems pretty easy because as I said, it was my, I would say, second attempt where I can go uh, slightly further. And if you follow the signs, it's all good and neat um maybe the loop white loop transition would be hard yes and the finish well 58 uh won't even try once more to finish this track uh, it's pretty rng cosmic putway by end me and uh another slightly logical track but it's more for like decorated purpose i would say the ball shows you more like ideal line for all these jumps and transition which really cool nice idea ah well after checkpoint three it was just a bouncing ball but the first part was uh pretty nice i use it as a clue i don't know if it was intentional from me but if it was nice if it was intentional it was really neat if not it's just like an incident but overall as usual nice track from and me didn't find any hard elements Ah, just slightly grassy track. The 19th by DD Nana. And, well, I would say it's nice, cozy, straightforward track with like sand road, but you're using off road tires, so I wouldn't consider that this is an issue. So probably it's all about like finding the best line, some small shortcuts to take all checkpoints. So pretty decent normal DSL map with I would say no any major issues. Really love it. Nice one. Misfire Mania by Maxi and Omless, and I would say this one of the hardest map because it's very fast. Some elements like uh, corkscrew jump after checkpoint one with transition to checkpoint two could be very risky. Then you need to do like over jump the wall fence, and yet again it's really cool, really nice, but like knowing that it could be problematic for people it's also considered as a hard element and then yet again half pipe jump so you can jump it like from the middle you need to again the aim to the jump so all like major elements are hard and yeah i forgot from the beginning you also need to use arms up without it you will fail so probably one of the hardest Okay, guys, yes. so there are no really a lot of tracks this time, so uh, more than X, um, give me an idea to collect AFK and maybe create some kind of video about AFKs, only AFK, and it could be done, but you need to collect them, but in this case, in this golf track, there are a lot of them. So, and I just think, well, it's not like big one. So I put all of them after that. Um, even if I think they're not like working properly, because as we all know, it's Unity, it's work differently for different 
situation when you're in solo when you're in open lobby when you're playing in a free mode so it could be different for example in uh, crazy caddy uh, when i'm playing solo in online lobby the ball never hit me so i was like cruising with uh, 23 speed like until the end and uh, time just stopped in other cases several times uh, when I play like in free mode or with other people, uh, the ball hit me and I was like dying from the crush in the ball. Same for uh, Maple Hill Hall from Shad. Uh, it didn't work for me. I, I don't know why. I tried so many times. Uh, it didn't work for me. I assume that you need to fly in front, like uh, straight forward. Then the fan will uh, boost you up and you probably could land in uh, this golf uh, bucket. But yeah, it was a problem. Uh, Rock 4 from Metalted have another like infinity musical AFK, which I'm fine with it. I love all musical stuff, especially when you create melody or something. Uh, so yeah, I don't know what the melody it is. So just put it in the comments and let me know. Uh. And yes, uh, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave comments, leave likes. If you're one of the afters uh, and I miss your AFK, uh, also let me know uh, any way you want. Uh, comments, Discord. And I will put it in round review. And see you next time. Bye. Oh.